So in the last video, we have seen how to create a new project and this video, I will show you how to create a new model. Again, let's open the Airbnb data modeler tool and I will open my last project. So as you know, the project has no model. So I will go to the file menu. I can create a new model. As we have already seen that there is logical model, there is physical model, there is logical and physical model. So what is the logical model? What is the physical model? So logical model is an abstraction. Logical model is translated into physical form that is in actual database, whether it could be SQL Server, Oracle. In logical model, we called entities, whereas in physical model, we call tables and columns. Let me go for logical and physical model. Why I can switch between logical and physical model if, if you choose for logical and physical model. But if you go for logical model, I can only create a logical model. When I select logical model, what happens? It does not choose any database because we are not actually implementing anything. It is just a entities, relationship and their attributes. But as soon as I select the physical model, what happens? I have the option to choose a database to which database I would like to implement my actual tables, right? So it gives you options like it Avro, Azure Synapse, Cassandra, then Coachbase, Databricks, DB24i, then DB24LUW, DB24EZ slash OS, then Dynamo DB, then Google BigQuery, Hive, Infomix, JSON, then Maria DB, MongoDB, MySQL, Neo4j, then Netis, ODBC, then Oracle, Parquet, PostgreSQL, then Progress, Redshift, SAPI, SAP IQ, SAS, Snowflake. We have SQL Server, we have Teradata. Why I shown you all this? You should be aware that, you know, this Urban Data Modeler supports various databases including all that I have listed. So I can go with SQL Server. So I can also mention like which version of the SQL Server I would like to connect to. Whether it's Azure SQL, whether it is any other versions or editions of SQL Server. Let me go with 2019. Okay. So when I select logical also and physical also, I have this option because, you know, there is interchangeable. When I create a model, I can interchange between logical and physical model. So I can set up all these abstract entities and attributes and relationship. Then I can go to the actual data types, uh, then tables, then rest check constraints, then primary keys, foreign keys, all set possible at physical level. So let me uh, click on OK. I should give a new uh, new model and this going to be logical and physical model then I've chosen SQL Server then I click OK it has taken few minutes to create a data model you know the by default it has uh, no name so I can select properties I can go to general tab I can change a model name you can give the model name according to your project maybe you are going to design in retail store you are going to design in school or education or student so whatever the requirement the it gives some name uh, related to your project maybe it is a bank i can see uh, xyz bank then give the project name okay bank maybe customer support system so the model will have name and the target server and version is sql server we can mention the notation type. There are information engineering, ID, F1, X, not physical notation we can choose for logical uh, logical model as well as physical model. So whichever you want, the notations, we can choose for the model. So the why the notation this is how the representation, the connection, all depends on the notation that you are choosing. Then we can say, is like model features like is dimensional is data world 2 is data moment so you know the data world 2 is data is another um, pattern of uh, data model okay 
so it gives you model entity attribute so these are very important uh, uh, concepts in data modeling you should understand what is a model what is entity what is attribute okay then the definitions then user defined uh, properties then history nodes then we have the extended uh, nodes so this is the basic uh, details about a model we can even uh, color code the model so i will show you later on but this is uh, how to create a data model uh, now so we have created a data model and you know if you go to the explorer pane then we have the model explorer in the model i have given the name for the model then if you expand you can see annotation data world data type standards default values domains so these are the default data types you when you switch between logical and physical left navigation gets a different set of so i was choosing the logical model the logical model we see very limited set of uh, features and you can see the entities as i mentioned in the logical model it is all about entities we have the year diagrams suppose we have many entities and uh, you can split your entities into different year diagrams then the naming standards relationship we have the subject areas and the themes and we have the validation rules actually the features available for logical model is very limited you know it is mostly managed at a architecture level it is never going to the physical model level. so that's why as soon as you change to physical model you get a different new set of features so we have the aggregates we have the always encrypted keys we have the application rules assemblies asymmetric keys certificates credentials then cryptographic providers data movement rules then data movement sources data world then we have database audit specification database encryption keys and database roles so it looks like we are using another management studio here right so in the management studio you can create database roles and users so since we are already attached to a database you can create the roles into a rvin tool then you can create the script or you can directly execute your script to the database the destination database and the databases and we have the default values of course domains we will understand domains you know when it comes to domain this is something we can directly map to your database it has blob it has date time number string which is again all these are available in a sql server then we have the year diagram we can also have external data sources external file formats external languages external libraries then full text catalogs then functions then we have the logins then csa is a default user then model sources naming standards pattern partition function partition schema permissions relationship then we have the source pool then schema okay of course very important in any database creating the schema you can create schema and um, erwin will automatically generate the um, script for that we have the script templates then subject area stored procedure of course we can create stored procedure here then tables automatically if you create a logical model it translate into tables in the physical model themes then trigger templates triggers user ids validation rules views so this provides you an area where you can create your stored procedure your tables your your constraints your views your triggers anything that matter to a database and erwin tool will give you the script or it can directly execute your script into your database that so as soon as i created a model you can see some log action logs so there is a switch between uh, my physical to logical model so all the activities which i execute in this tool will be logged uh, in the activity log so as soon as i created a model and when i go to logical i can see all the menus are enabled so you can create entities now so when the model is created you can create entities after that you can create a relationship and then we have other features too and how view menus are changed now we have i can apply zoom normal we can do 
themes we can to entities attributes primary key keys definition icons paints manage windows cascade windows horizontal split vertical split uh, and you can see the properties here so let me also show you that okay when i have uh, selected the model you can see properties of that particular model and coming to the diagrams creating a new diagrams you can delete diagrams then we can align left align center align right actually these are all helping you to design properly the diagrams and you can see that how to space horizontally space vertically there are different types of diagrams a grouped and group hierarchical orthogonal then we have the tree view then we have circular view symmetric view then we have the object of the relationship path and then layout in place then that's all coming under the diagrams then project explorer of course now we are in the project explorer so we can close the project save the project uh, then properties of the project we can see that we can change that if you need we have the model so what we need to do with say default values and we have the domains we have the entities relationship validation rules model source editor then we have the subject area editor user defined properties model properties then coming to the mart if you want to connect to online mart we can do that here then coming to actions so this now since we have a model complete compare is enabled manage snapshots design layers reverse engineering this and we have the tools a lot many tools are now enabled once we have uh, created the model i hope now you understand just about how to create a model different types of model logical and physical model and as i say when i say physical model you, you can see uh, the menus are getting again uh, changed uh, uh, a lot and lot more buttons are enabled uh, at this point now i hope this was really useful to you so now we have seen the project creation we have seen the model creation thank you